I grew up cooking with my mother all the time and I really saw how it like fostered relationships and this queer kitchen is the platform to do something impactful in New York City. I was looking around for queer events that had food and there was a few. It made me so happy to see that some of these things were already being done, but I wanted to create more queer safe spaces. Honestly, I don't know if this queer kitchen would be here without the NYU Food Studies program. I was taking this class called Digital Skills with um, Keith Olson and I was really interested in learning about food media. The final project was to create a website and I was like, okay, I'm going to do a website called This Queer Kitchen. Why don't I go around and talk to people in the food space who are queer and like report back on it and like take pictures of food and like so I started this Instagram account. I had about 23 followers and so I decided in April once I hit, I think it was like still a small amount, like 2,000 followers that I was going to incorporate and so I turned this into a big launch party to facilitate connections in the queer community. And I went into this launch party thinking 30 people would show up. It was just gonna be a happy hour and then the proceeds were going to the Trevor Project. I was blown away and I could like cry thinking about it. Like around 100 people showed up and I went around to every person and was like, hey, how did you hear about this? Or like. Um, why did you come out tonight? So people started giving me all these ideas and I'm like, I can come up with some really cool events that are gonna benefit a lot of people. Some of the main things that I wanna solidify as like goals for this queer kitchen is to be accessible um, to the community because I feel like, especially coming from different backgrounds, that money should never be a barrier to like meeting people and connection and feeling comfortable and feeling safe. That's just like a huge thing for me to make sure that everybody feels included as well as like diversity. I think it's, you can't have a single organization with one type of like demographic or one type of person and expect to learn anything. And if we think back to Stonewall, it was primarily like queer and trans people of color who took down that and like it never gets attributed to it. And so it's so important to me to like be an ally for the QT Fat community and do everything I can to like support them because without them, like we wouldn't be where we are today. I think when I was coming up with the idea for this queer kitchen and really understanding the ins and out of creating a business and like building it from the ground up that there's no better time than now to be doing this because of all of the different types of resources and support that there is at NYU. For example, I went to the Leslie eLab and I did their um, startup boot camp. That was like right before my launch party and it like just like sent me into this like understanding what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and if I needed coaching sessions, they would be there. They would help me with like legal things and different things like that. Like they are there to like help your startup grow and like be sustainable too. It's not all about just starting up, it's being like able to like prosper in the future. Even though this queer kitchen is a for-profit organization, this is a passion for me. I get up every single day and I'm so happy to like do this job and like I'm so excited to like talk to these different peoples and talk to these different organizations and knowing that people are going to feel safe and comfortable at these events. When I think about people who have met and like created connections at my event and like still work together, it brings me so much joy to like understand that we are like a community and we are here for each other.